So here's the deal. It looks like your boy Gilbert Arenas, you know, Laura Govin's baby daddy, the basketball player. Apparently, he thinks that your girl Nicki Minaj is the real winner in the Remy Ma battle situation because he said that Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap. And like I told y'all, Jesus, you can win the battle and lose the war. Yes, Remy won the battle. And yes, Nicki won the war. They're both fine as hell. They're both making some money. They're both stars. And they're both running New York. Therefore, in my personal opinion, they're both winners. At the end of the day, technically, they're both winners. And I don't understand why more people cannot understand that. It's like they think that there, you know, has to be just one, you know, one female rapper who makes a big one clear cut winner and all this other stuff. But it's more complicated than that. It's a lot of other things surrounding it. I mean, you have Remy Ma, street rapper, Nicki Minaj, street rapper slash industry rapper, you know, so it's like, you know, Nicki does some street stuff, but she's a mainstream MC. It is what it is. They they both do their thing. They're both successful. They're both beautiful. And I'm happy for both of them. How come I can't just love Nikki and Remy at the same time? Because people people want everybody to pick a side in this battle. And it's like, I'm a fan of both of them. They both have bars. They're both successful. I'm over here rooting for both of them. I don't understand why more people don't. But this is all my opinion. We're going to get into Gilbert Arena's opinion. And boy, did he have a lot to say. And he, he went in. So the Shade Room posted the following. Nicki Minaj said the following on Twitter. First of all, she said, yo, at DJ Clue, I put best of me on there because you from Queens. Now, no chill Gil is Gilbert Arena's Twitter and Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. He said, just face it. Nicki is the queen. Her body of work proves it. Remy been out the game for eight years and only has 70 seconds worth of mainstream music between All the Way Up and the remix. Then to throw a diss track out and claim you the queen, it don't work like that. You have to put in fucking work like Nicki has. Now he was making a lot of sense up until he said this. At this moment, Remy is actually behind Young M.A. At least she has a solo song to stand behind. No, Remy's bigger than Young M.A. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if Young M.A. will ever have another hit again. No shade intended, just being honest with you. Tired of hardcore hip-hop swinging at mainstream, then say, don't money talk me, spit bars. If I want to listen to straight bars, I'll listen to at, rather, hashtag, Tory Doe, battle rap. Other than that, entertain me with your music, paint a picture, tell a story. I guess he meant to say story. They need to listen from Missy, I guess he meant to say <laughs> they need a lesson. Maybe that's what he meant to say. From Missy, Little Kim, Angie, and the brat on how to work together. Enough money for everyone. And then somebody named Raisin Rama Ramatis. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Anyways, so what is she the queen of? Pop? Because like you mentioned, she sure as hell ain't spitting bars. Gilbert Arena says she's the queen of hip hop. That's not hardcore or pop rap. What was Missy? Lauren Hill. You have one year to be hardcore. That's telling us where you're coming from. After that, I suppose to tell us where you're going and where you're at. So since she crossed over to dumb down her music for the masses, she gets attacked by bars. What the fuck does bars mean anyway? Did 50 Cent have bars? Does designer speak English? Making music people enjoy is what in rap artists should be about. Remy has a problem, and this is why she claimed to have bars. How does she survive in hip hop if the main three crossover hip hop artists are all on the same team and they control who does songs with who? So Drake will tell Future no songs with Remy. And tell all those young ninjas pick a side that leaves Kanye, Hova, which is Jay-Z, J. Cole, K-Dot, which is Kendrick Lamar. And they won't pick a side, so they will stay clear. The attack was not thought out right. She will have to survive off of Fat Joe, uh, French, referring to French Montana, Meek Mill? <laughs> Remy won't get any singers to cross Nicki because they will worry about Wayne and Drake. 
can't beat the house. Wow. In other words, they're running shit. I know a lot of y'all are hating that he said that right now. He goes on to say, Nikki had no chance in winning this battle. Remy studied her weakness and found dirty, then attacked. So how will she get personal with the person who sat in jail for eight years? There's no real dirt to use in a personal battle. So Nikki can't actually win because she can't money talk her and hit her with record seals. So she will fall short. And any smart chess player would know even if she did come back with something decent, Remy had another one in the bag and Remy releases it too early. Didn't Nikki tell Remy, I'll give you $1 million if you respond in 72 hours? 72 hours is up and Remy haven't responded. Which shows she had planned this hit for a while and it wasn't an off the moment attack. He's bringing up some great points. I'm sorry though. Because people were like, the reason why Remy was on stage and forgot the words to Sheether was because she just wrote it and released it the night before. Some dumb shit like that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, nah. I, I think that this is a premeditated thing. I don't think that she just came with, up with it one night and went to the studio and recorded it on a whim and then put it out. I don't, I don't believe that shit. I think that was a, a planned attack. It just wasn't planned it wasn't planned well enough because it got her some publicity and it got a lot of people talking about her but I didn't hear anything about spikes and record sales and stuff like that but I did hear that Nicki Minaj had a spike in record sales it's like how the hell does that happen Remy was the one with the really dope disc record so why would Nicki Minaj's old albums from years ago jump up damn near 100% sales increases I don't know how many copies that is because I don't know how many they're currently selling and whatnot, but I'm just saying though, how does she end up seeing an increase in sales? I didn't hear anything about something about Rim from 2005, 2006, whenever Remy's first album came out. I didn't hear anything about her album jumping, jumping up in sales and no, I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not trying to be funny. Like I told y'all before, I'm fans of both of them. I'm just saying though, you got to think about business. A lot of y'all are thinking emotionally like little bitches. And that's exactly why Meek Mill lost his battle with Drake. Because he should have never responded. But on some street shit, he had to respond. Because, you know, you don't want people looking at you funny. Whether y'all realize it or not. Oh, wait, for the record, I'm going to make a video about the Drake versus Meek Mill, Meek Mill thing. And explain to you why hood dudes stay feeling. And Meek Mill was a prime example of that when his dumb ass responded to Drake which he shouldn't have but anyways that was some straight hood dude shit like you know Meek Mill has a reputation to uphold and whatnot, so he had to respond wink wink which was very dumb for him in his career he should have just shut up when Drake started talking but hood dudes don't know what's good for them but any, generally speaking but this is the art of war and it seemed like Remy's record was a good idea. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I heard that shit. I just wish that she wouldn't have released it. I wish that people like me or like a, a, car, a Carcino or somebody like that who really loves hip hop got to hear it. You know, DJ Envy said the same, the same thing that I said. DJ Envy said that Sheetha is the best disc record he heard. My opinion of DJ Envy. You know, we both said the same thing. But at the end of the day, what did it do for Remy's career? Whereas... At the end of the day, Remy and Nikki went like this. Remy put out her disc record, best disc record I've ever heard in my personal opinion. Dope ass record. I couldn't see much of an advance in her career from it, which pissed me off because I was like, damn, I would at least hope that the fans went out and bought some records, you know, and supported their favorite artists. But, you know, her fans are from the streets, a lot of them. So, you know record seals are not important to them I, I guess apparently they think that you know people's bills are paid with street credibility street credits because they heard the word credit and they figure that it's like a form of currency even though street cred credibility is just basically negative energy but at the end of the day even if Nikki made a better disc record if Nikki would have came on some cannabis in 1998 shit and would have ate Remy Ma's ass up at the end of the fucking day, people would have still said Remy Ma won because they wanted Nikki to lose. N almost nobody 
would have said that Nicki Minaj was the clear cut winner. It just would have not worked out that way because people did not want to believe that she was the winner. So it didn't really matter whether or not she put out, you know, a better disc record or anything like that. There, There is no winning that battle because Remy Ma struck first with that damn sheather, you know, and it's, people got what they wanted was to see Nikki get knocked down a notch. They wanted to see her get taken down. Now, she didn't fully get taken down. Remy didn't finish the job. Nikki goes on. She's continuing to sell all these records and shit. And it's like, wow. So, she, like, I, I remember thinking to myself, like, Whoa, what the fuck was, was Remy trying to accomplish by making that diss record? This great diss record for the record. But what, what, what was the end goal? What is she? What, what the hell was she really trying to get out of it? And then I said to myself, I think she was just trying to embarrass Nikki. Because it's not like it was a career ender and it's not like it was doing something, you know, really big, you know, it wasn't a career ender for Nikki and it wasn't doing anything important for her career. So I had to just kind of sit back and say, well, what the hell did she get out of it? And an embarrassment and revenge for I don't even know what I guess would have to be the reason because, you know, people battle for different reasons. But really, I, I mean, if anybody knows what Remy was expecting to get and what she actually got out of the beef with Nicki Minaj. Somebody please let me know in the comment section because honestly, her the benefits for Remy in it all really is, escapes me other than revenge for I don't know what and to embarrass Nicki Minaj because it didn't knock Nicki off her pedestal. And honestly, the position that Nicki has right now, the only way that Nicki could be removed from that throne is if somebody sells more records which is quite possibly not going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, you know, people want to make up alternative facts about the beef and stuff like that. It's like, look, they're both good rappers. They both, you know, are good at what they do. I'm just happy that there are some people out there that can understand things for more than just one perspective. I like both MCs and I'm happy for both of them. But this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Who won and why? And do you agree with what Gilbert Arenas had to say about it all? Let me know below. Meat Magazine.